Hubble Enterprises and IT&E, and we are back for the last half of the show. Uh, with your host, Sabrina Sauce, Matt Tanani, Jason Sauce, and the Zoom room, we have Andy Wheeler and a full Zoom party here uh, on the show. So let's get to this, guys. Welcome to the show. I cannot wait to start this interview because, you know, I mean, the Laddie Tones have really made a name for themselves, not just as this UOG corral, but as a standard island institution of, like, just amazing vocalists and everything. We got Dr. Randall Johnson, who, who I have known for a very long time, since my time at UOG. We may, Doc, have even been at a karaoke bar in Timuning once or twice at, at the same time. We were in different groups, but I remember you absolutely owning the joint. Was that a question directed towards me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So very fine work, obviously, that you're doing with the uh, the Laddie Tones program over there. Um, and I'm, I'm just really excited to see how you guys are going to do this concert, basically, um, you know, for the for the enjoyment of the community, especially because, you know, there's so many people and so many musicians trying to have, you know, uh, performances and like, you know, can we do this remotely? Can we all sync up? Do we have to pre-record and everything? So um, tell us about, you know, what the, what the lineup is and what the format is. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, we actually have quite a few things going on, but, uh, but uh, just reiterating what you said about the difficulty, which is uh, really at some level kind of fun with what you can do uh, by pre-recording things that you couldn't do live. Uh, the band, for instance, um, we don't have a complete 18-piece band, but you don't need it if you're going to pre-record. So you just have you have you have one trombone player, and he just plays all five trombone parts. So the band sounds maybe the best they've sounded in decades. It's really <laughs> really quite. And the, uh, I don't you know I don't think they should ever play live again. Uh, nice. We're we're all about quality control here on the show. <laughs> What's that? Uh, we're all about quality control here. Yeah, if if we could if we could go back in time and erase our mistakes on the show, yeah, we'll pre-record everything. Exactly, exactly. So uh, how it works is I send out guide tracks to the choir. They all learn things on their own. They send me back their parts with no background and noise in it, and that's difficult for for the members because they have to get away from their brothers and sisters and dogs and chickens and rain on the on the tin roof and traffic and. and and fire engines, and uh, and try and find a place to record. So uh, so they go through their own little difficulties with that. Then I compile that. I've got a, another videographer, friend of mine that I pay in food and alcohol, that uh, that puts the puts the video together. She's actually uh, uh, temporarily out of work as a wedding videographer. So it takes each piece. One choir piece takes at least three weeks to put together. Yep. So. Uh, and we do a we do a finale piece here. Santa Claus is coming to town. That is really fun because we have the the whole band, and then we have the the choir, and we even have some guest appearances at the end by Shelby uh, Weilbacher's little sister, which is the most charming little eight year old girl singer that that you'd ever want to hear. Uh, really, really super fun. Um, but quick rundown on what's going on. You know, on our our Q cubed. It's easier to say triple cubed or Q cubed or Q Q Q. Who can pronounce correctly the quarantine Christmas concert? <laughs> quarantine uh, Christmas concert. Christmas concert. And so it's it's lighthearted as it should be at this time of year. It's it's fun. We've got the choir for several pieces. Uh, the band also has their own individual piece. We have um, uh, uh, guitar. We have soloists in there too uh, from. Our, uh, our solo lessons that we have at the university. So we've got a half a dozen singers. We've got five piano players. We've got a trio of of uh, Aria and the Chick Monks. That is really quite cute. And um, uh, and that's and I think a late entry with a flute trio with a, a flautist uh, playing. Um, uh, uh, accompaniment with herself is also coming on board. If she gets her file in on time, I'll try to get it in the concert. And there's also a dancing Santa Claus that is a recurrent theme that will, is video bombing and uh, quite a few of the videos. Very Chad nice. is one. 
Oh, so you right guys were the one that made Zoom and like implement that like security measure because the, the whole video bombing thing. So it was you guys that made that happen. All right. See, we get things done on Guam. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you got to make some some of these things fun while you have the opportunity. Next next year, uh, if you want to go to the to the the holiday concert, you'll have to drive to UOG, buy a ticket, and it'll just be live, and we'll make all kinds of mistakes. This time it will be air free and it's free. And you can and you can stay at home, open up your favorite beverage and and be critical with your friend going, wow, hey, why why they do that? I could have done that better. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so uh, you know, it's like when I watch a movie, I prefer watching movies at home so I can be critical. There I you don't go. like going to the I have to be quiet for an hour and a half. Uh, spoken spoken like a true academic but well doc we we do have three of your amazingly talented uh performers we got chad uggin uh michaela oliva and anthony carino hi hi guys and may i just ask because i have wanted to give the laddie tones props for so many months right now because i remember at the beginning of the of the pandemic uog had this um it was this it was a telethon that they did and they were they were raising money that they were providing for the personal protective equipment over at the hospital and you guys did a rendition and can you guys raise your hands if you were part of that when you did the song from joker okay so chad was in it oh my god you, dude i'm an i'm a news anchor right? i've been doing this for 21 years so i you know i don't show emotion for anything you guys absolutely broke me man i was in tears chad outstanding job i mean i i love that song smile and you, I mean, I'm thinking about it right now. I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> Thank you so much. We appreciate it so much. That was our very first uh, virtual fire piece. Was was smile. That was incredible. So yeah, just, it's like. So Chad, tell us about it, that. What it, was it that gets, like? Gets crazy, you know. Like the first time when we actually had the the virtual choir and everything, it was obviously brand new and everything. Everyone's still getting used to it. And it was really a challenge. And we're, we were just so grateful that it turned out the way it did. And it turned out even more amazing than we expected it. And we just, I, I just want to like shout out Doc and his amazing editor once again on everything that they've been doing since um, this whole pandemic has started on this island. And thank you so much, Doc. Hey. That's <laughs> it. That's part of the job. I only do it because I'm paid. <laughs> <laughs> now, my apologies. I didn't actually watch The Joker, so I was very confused. But I do know Chad and Tony and I were all part of that, the first one. We were, we're returnees of the Laddie Tones. We're one of the OGs, I want to say. It was amazing. How, how was it trying to record your parts when, you know, I mean, I'm, you know, Andy's... And he's on the Zoom call right now. He's an experienced radio guy, and he's done, you know, musical performances. He's hosted concerts, you know, for a couple of decades now. But how was it to actually record your own parts when you don't have that sense of, you know, proximity, and you can, you know, you can play off, and you can get a, a feel and the vibe for, you know, your fellow performers, and you're doing things basically all solo, and you're tracking yourself. So well, it's it. Sorry, Chad. <laughs> no, it's, my bad. <laughs> um, there's some good and some bad in it. Like you said, it is really hard to kind of get a feel of how this song, how you want this song to sound. Blending is also a pretty big issue when you can't hear the other members. But, you know, if you make a mistake, you can just, you don't have to start over. You can just start where you made the mistake and just continue on, you know, so you don't have to keep um, going back and forth. So that's really cool. Yeah, and the same thing with um, the whole um, getting the whole vibe of everything. Like, of course, since we are doing it by ourselves and it's pre-recorded and everything, we're not having the whole, you know, um, of the vibe of having all your your classmates, your friends, the members of Laddie Tones being next to us and we're getting like, you know, like hyped and everything. So it's really challenging to make sure that the recording is also very lively also very um you know um the sound is is just as amazing as it would be if it were live uh in, right in front of you because you know whenever you record or something you 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 sometimes want to just like you know get it as professional as possible but you lose the whole control i mean the whole amazingness of of a live performance you know and that's one thing that was always so challenging whenever, at least for me, whenever I try to record something, I always try to make it as lively and as uh, hyped up as possible whenever I try to give them a recording. 
And even, even with like recording videos, it's really hard to perform like you're performing in front of an audience when you're sitting in your room and recording by yourself because performers usually feed off of their audience, you know? Mm -hmm. So just trying to like, okay, just imagining that there's an audience in front of you that they're hyping you up. It's, it's really hard, but you know, it's, it's pretty fun too, I would say. I think that, that issue of uh, performing has been, you know, it, it varies through the group. And these three, these three students are, are very good about, about performing and putting in energetic things. Uh, uh, you know, Michaela will even record. She, once on one recording, she actually put a hose up on the roof and was and pretending it was raining and was dancing in the rain during part of a song where that was appropriate. Chad always kind of overacts, which is great because it. On, a, uh, on the video, you kind of need to show more energy, I think. So, But it's not universal through the group. I mean, this is, I'm adamant that we try and do creative things, even in this kind of uh, weird condition that we're in now, that, that the things you accomplish now through a little bit of difficulty will be more valuable for you later. And all these students have these recordings that they, they can show 10 years later and say, when their kids say, Hey, Dad. Hey, Mom. You know what did you do during the great pandemic of 2022? Depending on how long it goes. So, and some of the students have more difficulty with that because they're going through little bits of depression. You know, I have to call them up. Other students call them up. These these three help encourage other people to keep their attitude up, keep things keep things going, not crawl up and crawl in the corner of the room and wait until it's all over. So uh, it's it's it's. It is challenging to keep everybody's attitude going. And I'm really proud let's, of you. Uh, let's hear from Anthony here. Um, uh, get I think your he's saving his voice Anthony, for the gig. On, uh, like Doc was saying and Chad and Michaela, the challenges that come along with uh, pre-recording this. Oh, well, uh, I definitely had to uh, come up with creative solutions for how I had to record my things because I live in a pretty crowded household and um, it, it gets very, really, very, very loud. and. Uh, during our first semester, um, when the pandemic still started, I had to record inside of a closet so that I could get that um, good soundproofing. <laughs> and then uh, when my closet broke sometime in the middle of this semester, I had to. I decided, like, what, what else can I do? So I purchased a futon um, out of, out of um, recommendation from Doc, and I used that, and I folded it so that it could act as more soundproofing, too. So I had to come up with all those solutions. And... Uh, when I started, we didn't have, I didn't have like a, a good microphone or anything like a, something like this. I actually just had my uh, iPad microphone held up to my face, maybe like um, six mm -hmm. inches away, just so I could get that kind of a uh, sound. And it was, it, um, it took some time to get used to for sure. You know, whatever it takes to get the right sound, man. If, I mean, if, if it takes a, if it takes a futon, if you got to take like an, uh, a half empty, box of uh corn pops and everything like hold it up so you get like just that right amount of muffle i mean that that's really really cool so okay so well how how when and where should people uh pencil off in their schedule so they can make sure they can check out another outstanding performance from the laddie tones doc okay yeah. okay well you can all, uh, you can go check out our Instagram, our Twitter. We have social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, and also uh, TikTok under all one name, UOG Laddie Tones. We have all the information there. You just go to uh, zoom.com slash QQQ is the link for the concert this Friday and Saturday. At what time, Doc, is the concert again? 7.30, 7.30. Yes, yeah, so if you want to go check that out, once again, it's UOG Laddie Tones on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. We post all the time on there. And if you want to get live updates on anything that's happening with the Laddie Tones, even we have a YouTube channel that has all the performances. So once the concert is done, we will have all the performances that are being uh, premiered and showcased on the concert. If you by any chance miss it, it will be uploaded to the YouTube channel, same name, UOG Laddie Tones an hour later nice so you can all enjoy the amazing performances by all the college students well guys i just want to throw follow the band sorry go, go ahead uh, the please, band please. is also under um instagram Manila hot jazz so you can also follow them for more information nice 
I just want to throw in one thing because, you know, um, like I was saying, the Laddie Tones, it's a program now and you get so many people that, that come into it. They learn so much, you know, they give back to previous generations. We have an alumni from the UOG Laddie Tones, our friend Glenn Lujan, who says he was at UOG and he says, hi, Doc. I too was a university singer back in the late 90s while attending Triton U. And he goes, it was an amazingly fun class. We even went to Saipan to perform. And I have nothing but awesome memories about that. Glenn, what do you not do? He, say, he says the, he prays the rosary for everybody on Facebook Live. You know, he's an amazing cook. We know he can sing, too. And, if, and a, a very, very proud alumni of the, uh, of the UOG music program over there under your tutelage, Doc. Well, that was, I, I remember Glenn, of course, and the, the, the rest, there is an OG uh, Facebook page with a lot of people there from, from the 90s who have joined. Back then... I used to travel with bands during the summer, so uh, I was I was uh, gone entertaining drunken soldiers for the U.S. military for a, a decade there. So all we did was we went to Saipan in the spring, and those were the largest the largest number I took was a uh, hundred and six choirs to Saipan. Wow! And, to, and singers know how to party up in Saipan. This I know. I, uh, you know, I, I was a little concerned when I saw people were packing their, their, um, their, their mixers to make margaritas, you know, that, <laughs> <laughs> but it was, but it was always a great trip. That was sort of, now these guys, these guys being later, they get to go on better trips. Now we're, we had a trip planned for, uh, for, uh, Italy that's been postponed. That was in June of 2020. Now mm. it's postponed to one and if it doesn't happen then we'll do it in 2022 <laughs> but we've been uh, four four or five times and and thailand a few times so we do a little bit more more longer tours because we can use part of the summer since uh the military decided i was too too old to entertain soldiers so i don't work <laughs> during the summer or <laughs> oh come on doc i mean if, if, if they get you know if they get if they get USO tours, they can they can certainly have you out there. They got they got Bob doing uh, performances. They can certainly get you out there. <laughs> but you know yeah, you got I mean even if you guys may not physically be able to to bring your talent around and everything like that. Yeah, I mean in some small way you're using technology and you know we're happy to bring it to the world and and let people know just the amazing amount of talent and passion that there is on Guam. And you guys are really doing what you can and using your gift to take care of our community in your own special way. And for that we are infinitely appreciative well it's been uh, i'm always happy that i have enough really reliable and and talented students every year to be able to keep doing this this has been a been uh you know uh, uh 28 years of uh of a lot of fun and uh yeah so anyway keeping it okay keeping i do have i do have one teensy tiny little request guys and there's like this could go wrong in 500 different ways but i say we at least have to give that uog try right that college try can we at least get you guys to attempt to sing on Zoom? We, we've had individual performers before, but could we get you guys to do maybe four-part harmony for at least a verse of a song? Give, give people a little sneak peek of what they, what they can expect to see at your Christmas concert. I love saying that. Qu quarantine Christmas concert. Somewhere, somehow, Shirley Temple is smiling right now hearing that. <laughs> well... I we don't have we don't have all the parts covered here. We got a, we're missing the missing the soprano. We got uh, and uh, and the tenor. We got you know a couple of baritones and an alto. So I you know I think that people better show up for the you know listen to the concert. I don't. We've gotten so used to fixing all of our mistakes. Fair enough. You know, we've had a year a year now of just being able to make mistakes uh, with impunity and fixing them electronically. So. Well, if, if it helps any, I mean, I'm 46 years old and I just went through puberty last year, so I might be able to still to do the soprano part, but, you know, we never know. But, I mean, <laughs> totally respect the craft, though. I mean, you, you guys are either going to go all out or, or not at all, so I, I completely respect that. Andy's, Andy's a great singer, too, you know. We've, we actually did one of the malfunction tunes, um, mm -hmm. uh, and, and we brought that out with the group again, um, My Island. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Fired this last year. It was good fun. Decades I, ago. <laughs> I ought to, ought to make an album of malfunction tunes, you know, and I can arrange it and give them out to the high schools. They can all sing those songs. They're hilarious. <laughs> those are really creative stuff. 
All right, guys, but it's we are getting near the top of the hour. So thank you again. Uh, we'll, we'll shoot you the uh, the YouTube um, clip of this interview once we're done with the show so that you guys can uh, uh, send it out on your social media. And we'll make sure to share your links as well. Good luck. Break a leg in your concert, man. We, we all of us here at The Link and at Team K when we are huge, huge fans of yours, each and every one of us. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. Happy holidays, guys. And then, yeah, that was incredible. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to watch it. Maybe I'll, I'll stream it. Background is my analogy for 2020. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Dead inside. <laughs> All right. Well, that is uh, the show for today. Merry Thanks, Christmas. Marie. Merry hey, Christmas. Jason. Happy so holidays, guys. guys. And you know we we do have a, we do have a comment in here. Uh, I believe this was from uh, Glenn too, and he said maybe he's he's summing up not just today's show but today in in short and everything. He goes he goes happy vaccination day, Guam. <laughs> it's history. I mean, we made Absolutely. history today. I mean, what a day on the show. Let's get that vaccination, please. <laughs> right. Join the vaccine nation. Yeah. Back. You get it? Okay, I don't get it. All right. No. <laughs> Joe sir got it. No. I got it. Okay. Okay. Well, there was a lot we covered today, guys, and uh, thank you for being along with the ride. It's a safe place here, and we are all hanging out, one family, one community here on the link, and 